Hi everyone, this is Miss Lisa from the Vanderbilt Beach branch of the Collier County Public Library here for Collier Kids Read Storytime. Today we're going to do some books about numbers. Our first book is I've Got an Elephant. It's by Anne Hinkle and illustrated by Jamie Byram. And we want to thank Peachtree for allowing us to read this book today. I've Got an Elephant. I've got an elephant who sleeps in my bed in Superman pajamas that are yellow, blue, and red. Though other kids have teddy bears to cuddle up tight, I've got an elephant to hug me every night. But when I go to school, he gets lonely and then he goes out and brings home an elephant friend. I've got two elephants who come with me to school. The kids on the bus all think we're really cool. They know their ABCs and can count to 10 by twos. They help me with my reading if I ever get confused. But when I go shopping, they get lonely. And then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got three elephants who run through the mall, making stops at all the shops they love the best of all. They wriggle into fancy shoes and try on every dress. Sometimes I have to scold them because they make an awful mess. But when I go swimming, they get lonely. And then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got four elephants who swim in the pool. They're really good at backstrokes as a general rule. They splash each other silly when it gets too hot. A cool spray of water really hits the spot. But when I go to ballet, they get lonely. And then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got five elephants who dance so gracefully. They've learned how to point their toes and how to bend their knees. My ballet teacher says that they make a pretty sight in their pretty pink tutus and their ballerina tights. But when I go to move to the movies, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got six elephants who love the movie so they get drinks and popcorn to munch on at the show. If the movie gets too scary, then they hide their little eyes with their big floppy ears and cry elephant cries. But when I go fishing, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got seven elephants who fish so patiently. They sit together on the bank as quiet as can be. They hardly make a sound. They're never, they, they never breathe a word. Elephants in fishing hats is really quite absurd. But when I go play dress up, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got eight elephants who prance down the stairs, pretending they are royalty and putting on airs. They gather round the table for royal English tea, sipping from their teacups and having fun with me. But when I go sledding, they get lonely and then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. I've got nine elephants who share my little sled with two sturdy runners that are painted bright red. We sit by the window and wait for it to snow. Then we climb on that sled and down the hill we go. But when I take a bath, they get lonely. And then they go out and bring home an elephant friend. Enough! Off they go. Where are they going to? The zoo. I've got 10 elephants who live in the zoo with a tiger, a crocodile, and 20 kangaroos. I visit them on Sundays and bring them things to eat, popcorn and pizza, and a special peanut treat. But when I get lonely, I go out and then I find another playmate. I make another friend. That was a really cute book. With our number theme, I've got a little activity we can do. 
what you're going to need is you're going to need some cupcake paper liners, which you're going to have probably some of these at home. We'll do two or three of them or four of them here. And then what you want to do is you want to write your numbers on the bottom of the cupcake liner, the paper cupcake liner. You can write any numbers you want. I've got one, two, three, four. Okay. You mix them up. Then you're going to grab yourself some pom-poms. You can use cotton balls, all kinds of little fun things. You can even use Cheerios or some cereal. And you want to get some tongs. I'm sure there'll be some of these around somewhere. And you want to count however many numbers are in the cupcake. So we want to go one, two, three. And let's see, one goes here for number one. Number two, two pom-poms. One, two, and this one's four. So we have to count out four. One, two, three, and four. There you go. It's a fun little activity for your numbers. Okay, let's finish up with a second story about numbers. This one is One Frog Sang, and this is by Shirley Parental, illustrated by Cynthia Jabbar, and we want to thank Candlewick Press for allowing us to read this book today. Okay, One Frog Sang. All the frogs conquered low while spring rain stormed by. Then when the night became still, one big frog leaped onto a high garden wall, sucked in air and blew out a song. Two tiny frogs joined in from a window pane, shrieking freak in voices as loud as a crowd. Three young frogs sang a rabbit, a rabbit from a puddle in the middle of a path. Four spotted frogs sang chirrup, chirrup from a tree trunk hugging the bark. Five frogs sang rabbit from a bird bath where a mirror moon swam. Six green frogs chorused Read it, read it, from the mossy walls inside a wishing well. Seven frogs sang deep, bloop, bloop, from the side of a row where it curved out of sight. Eight bullfrogs boomed, womp, womp, from water running dark beneath a bridge. Nine green frogs puffed out their throats to sing, read it like bumps on a log. Ten frogs trilled, pee, pee, from lily pads shining in a pool. Grunts and croaks, chirps and ribbits, low and deep, high and shrill, all the frogs sang for love until one car splashed down the wet street, wheels sloshing along the pavement. Then, Ten frogs stopped peeping from the lily pad. Nine frogs flopped off the floating log. Eight frogs peeked from the dark beneath the bridge. Seven frogs plunged into the high grass without a rustle to show where they hid. Six frogs hushed inside the mossy wishing well. Five frogs croaked crouched like stones on the bottom of the bird bath. Four frogs pretended to be part of the bark of the tree. Three frogs huddled in the puddle on the path. Two frogs slipped down the glassy window pane. One frog sprang from the high garden wall. The engine rumble faded, only the wind made a sound, whispering across the grass. The moon wandered down on the stillness until one frog leaped onto the high garden wall and began to sing, Cobbler. Then he added it again. That's it for our Call Your Kids Read story time for today. Please join us every day, Monday through Friday, for story time at 10 o'clock. 
Happy reading. We'll see you next time.